What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my trading journey. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these videos, so let's get right into it. In this video today, I'm going to show you guys the most accurate trading filter that I've run into so far. That's great for scalping day trading. It's just a simple trading strategy and a simple to use indicator. And you can use it for swing trading as well. So swing trading, scalping day trading, you can use it on Forex, crypto like Bitcoin, ETH. You can use it on the indexes. You can use it on stocks, options, man. I use it for everything. So uh, before I get started, I have to put this disclaimer out there. None of this stuff is financial advice. So, uh, yep. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into it. I like to use this on the 15 minute time frame. So this is what it's going to look like once you get once you guys set up. So first, what you're going to do is go into tradingview.com. That's the charting platform that I use. It's amazing. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I use TradingView a lot for a lot of my charting. So when you first get in, your charts are going to look like this. Let me just X out of all of this stuff so I can help you guys set, set up all the indicators for this great trading strategy from the beginning, right? And also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I've got a lot of great content planned. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for future notifications, and also join my Telegram channel. I don't know if you guys saw, if you're a repeating uh, viewer, I just posted a trade yesterday on my trading uh, on my Telegram channel, and it's up like 65% today, which is great. Um, all right, so when you load up TradingView, this is what it's going to look like, right? Just the bars, you've got your candlesticks, choosing the 15-minute time frame on this one. So the first thing you're going to do, go into indicators, okay? And you're going to search for trend meter all right is a trend meter and it's uh by lij underscore mc okay you're gonna click that and you'll see this stuff pop up a lot of good things so this indicator is basically it's a combination of a lot of popular indicators so if you go into the settings you can see you can see exactly what it's got so it's got a lot of stuff that you know, works, works together. So each of these different dots and lines and stuff. So it's got the MACD, it's got the RSI, it's got the crossover of the moving averages. It's got the EMAs. It's got a lot of things that, you know, you, you put in separately for different filters. So one of the things that I love about this particular trading, you know, filter and indicator is that it, it's a strategy where all of these line up and the accuracy is just amazing. And the other thing that I like to add to this, so go back into indicators, type in EMA, the exponential moving average. And if you've seen my other videos, you know how much I love the EMA. So go into, man, why is this like glitching now? All right, go into the EMA, click on settings. We're gonna change the length to 200. And I like my EMA color to be white, so it's nice and bright and a little bit thicker. Okay. So now let's get into the strategy part. Now that we have the indicators all set up and we are ready to implement this simple, super simple trading strategy. It's great for beginners, great for advanced users. I use it all the time to, um, to come up with some of my trades and stuff like that. So the main key to look out for is when the price action is above the 200 EMA, right here, right? Above the 200 EMA, we're looking for buy opportunities to go long. When the price action is below the 200 EMA, we're looking for sell opportunities or to go short, okay? And great example right here already. And then the other thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna make sure, so our trigger candle is gonna be the one after something once the candle closes, the trigger candle closes, okay? Because these things can repaint or they can change as the price action changes during that time frame. So each of these candles is for 15 minutes, right? So when all of these things line up, so when there's a red dot up here and everything lines up to be red, you're going to go short, you're going to look for short positions, right? And when, when the price action is above the 200 EMA, you're looking for buy opportunities. You're looking for a green dot where everything lines up. 
So you'll see a bunch of stuff where, you know, great, this lines up, it's above the price action, is above the 200 EMA, you got a green dot. But guess what? The bottom line is red. It's not green. Not, not everything's lining up to be green. So you're not going to get into that trade. So this would be a great example on Bitcoin, where the price action closed below the 200 EMA. So this one is done. So this is your trigger candle. This is where you're going to get into the trade. And when this candle closes and this one opens, everything on that trigger candle is red. Price action is below the 200 EMA. And look at how Bitcoin just went down. And it's still going down, right? At the time of this recording. You know, on the other side, when you look over here, the price actions above the 200 EMA and you get a green dot on this candle. And if you were to get in on this candle, you know, the price action stayed, stayed above for, for a little bit. So that it would have been a good little short, short scalp or quick, quick trade, right? Same thing happening over. Nope, that is not right because things don't line up. We can keep looking for and I'll show you guys. I'm going to go through examples using like Bitcoin. Let's let's look at ETH. A lot of people love to trade ETH, right? So this is also on the 15 minute timeline. And here you go. Here's here's another great example. So ETH dipped. You've got this. Everything lines up. You get in on this trade right here. It's still going down. When you're looking, the price actions above. Again, you get this opportunity right here to have it swing up a little, right? You've got the opportunity right here where everything is green, price actions above the 200 EMA, and you're kind of, you're enjoying that trade right up, right? So there, there's another, here's another one. Price action closes, get in. You've got a little swing, right? You've got a little bit of profit right there for a quick scalp. This doesn't line up, so we wouldn't do that. This one doesn't line up. This one doesn't line up. So you see, right? It's uh, the stuff. Once once things line up, you can you you can see where you can make some good profit, and the reliability of this indicator is great. So now I usually get you know a lot of people ask, hey, does this work on forex? Does it work on the stock market? So I showed you guys some crypto examples. Now let's look at Let's look at some Forex examples. So let's look at the Euro JPY. And then after this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna also show you guys how to trade the stock market with this stuff, because that's what I usually do. And I'm gonna give you guys some bonus tips on that, okay? So make sure you watch this video till the end. So for instance, with the Euro JPY, same price action below the 200 EMA, it closed. Everything lined up over here. Everything's red. You see this dip, 30 minutes, a good amount of pips to capture, right? Over here, everything's green. Not a lot of pips, but still profit's profit. Over here, it, we wouldn't get into this trade because guess what? Not everything is green. It's not lining up. Over here, we wouldn't do this because the price action is above the EMA. So we're not looking for short opportunities and it doesn't line up. Here you go. Here's another one that we would get into, right? So you've got everything's lining up green, price actions above, and you can enjoy some of these pips. So you guys, you guys see what I mean, right? It's like super, super simple price action below the 200 EMA, looking for sell opportunities, everything, everything lines up to be red. And here we go, right? You see, you see that? It is freaking amazing. So now let's 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 look at some of the stocks, right? So I know a lot of people like to uh, trade the indexes. So let's look at the SPY. And here's here's a here's here's a tip. This is what this is what I do, right? So I'm just talking from personal experience. You guys can do trade however you guys like. I don't like to trade the first 30 minutes of the market and the last 30 minutes of the market because things can just go haywire. So because this is, we're using the 15 minute time, fr time frames. So the last two, the last two uh, candles of the day, we're not going to trade. 
and the first two candles of the day we're not going to trade because price action can be all over the place when the market opens and when it's about to close. I, I like to look for trades in the middle of the daytime, right? For, for this kind of stuff. So let's let's see if we see anything that's that's worthwhile that makes sense, right? Price action's below, so we would be looking for stuff going down. This doesn't work. This doesn't work because it's green. This this kind of works, but this is toward this is this is towards the end of the day, right? You look at the time f 2 30 p.m nope it's towards the end of the day trading day i'm in the central standard time so the last hour for me last 30 minutes would be from 2 30 to 3 i'm not going to trade that this is also again towards the end of the day wouldn't trade that let's look for some other examples again this is towards the end of the day wouldn't trade that Here, this was in the middle of the daytime. Perfect, all right? So it's around, yeah, 13.30 would be 1.30 my time. So we got a couple of hours till the market would close. So this would be good on the 15-minute time frame. Price action above the 200 EMA. Candle closes, get in on this candle and write it up, write it up, write it up. Same here. This again is in the middle of the day. It's not in the first hour of trading, not in the last hour of trading. As you can see, it's 12.15. So trigger every price action is above the 200 EMA. You've got everything lining up to be green. And you write it up. This is kind of cool, right? I think it's pretty awesome. Same thing here. This is towards the end of the day, so I wouldn't really get into that much. Um, even though that'd be a win, you got to stay disciplined. It's not about the quantity of trades. It's about the quality of the trades. So, yeah. So, you know, if you guys uh, like this video, please do give this a thumbs up. Give it a like. Drop me a comment. And let me know what you guys thought about this strategy. I really like it. It's super effective. Um, it's been working pretty well for me. And, yeah, you can use this. To, to scalp, day trade, swing trade. It's super simple. It's uh, using the trends and you can use it on crypto, Forex, indexes, whatever it is that you know you guys like to trade. Just you know, do your due diligence. Again, not financial advice. And again, subscribe to my Telegram channel for free. That's where you can follow some of my trades. And then also subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, hit the bell for future notifications. And I will see you guys on the next one.